Ramadan is the, the specialist and the best month for Muslim people. When, when we finish Ramadan, we really see that th other things is much easier. We take other, other, other things that we don't like in, in you know, an open mind. We take it in a respect way. Because you're already like thirsty, thinking about food, and anything could upset you fast. So we learn how to behave ourselves in Ramadan. When you, when you fast, it's, it's kind of difficult. So you can get angry fast, you can get upset, uh, either home, new job, or anywhere. So I think one month of the whole year, it's not going to be a problem. And this really shows us, when you stay away from the food and from you know, many things that you enjoy in normal days, this shows you like how, how special you are and shows you, makes you value the, the, the things that you have. Because sometimes it's because when you have something all the time, you start losing that value. You don't really value the thing. You don't feel that, hey, that gift. You don't feel it. So when you lose it, then you start to feel it. So that's what Ramadan is about. Like, it's about all these things together. If you are a Muslim and you're doing this Ramadan and you're just fasting about food and water, you're not really fasting. But in this month, like, it's, hey, you have to, you know, to, to get time for this. You have to think just about, you know, do the right thing, think about God, uh, helping people, you know, uh, helping yourself. Plus, you, you need to do the other things, which is, uh, you need to get involved in the community. You need to, to get involved. I don't want to say that, you know, I'm a perfect, nobody is perfect. Everyone do mistakes or miss things, but as I told you, when, you, when I'm fasting now, after training, I'm like dying, seeing everyone drinking, I want to just go out from here. So when I see someone else need really help, so when I see someone in the street, I believe that this guy, uh, I know that at 7.45, I'm going to eat, I'm going to drink wherever I want. But I'm not sure if this guy really have food he's going to eat. It doesn't matter if he's a Muslim or is not, you understand? So that's why how, how, how Ramadan, the fasting, makes you, you know, feel other people more. He is replaced in the offseason acquisitions of an El Munir. Everyone here respect that and everyone really trying to help me the way that, you know, as much as they can. You know, I have with me Tup Dio and they have Latif also, they are also fasting, so which is much easier for me that, you know, there's someone else who's doing what I do, which make me feel, you know, you know, give me more strength so I can, hey, I have my teammates who's doing the same, so I don't need to feel weak. Bob is the second coach that I work with in my ninth professional year as a soccer player. Uh, who really understands this and he take it like you know with big heart, you know, with open mind and you know he didn't make it difficult for me. With Bob, Bob, as you said, he was in Egypt a long time and he worked with Muslim people and he really understand how these things are going and which is that's what really helps. And even the the practice, there's things we do like hundred percent. You know, some, th some things I can do 100, some things I can do 70 or 80. They understand that and I really appreciate it. And I'm doing my best also, so uh, I think things is working really well. I believe that if you want to do something, you have really to understand, you have to believe in it. That's all what it's about. It's just about, you know, believing and, you know, doing the right thing, helping yourself, you know, stop thinking about, you know, the bad things or the crazy that things that you know take you away from the, the line that you should be going on so that's what all this you know the month of Ramadan is about.